TikTok. Wait, it's a you scam? Be falling in trouble? No, your bank will tell you that this is a scam. Walk inside your bank, tell them you want five thousand dollar cash because what? we have all the information right in front of my desktop about you, about your son, about your daughter, about your father, about your mother. Hey guys, if you just came from the first part where I deleted the scammers' files, we're going to get back into the action. There's so much you do not want to miss it. Let's get to it. Is the police is coming? Is the police is coming? Well, he's looking at me funny. He's sitting at the front of the door, like kind of guarding it. Listen to me right now. Very smartly. You need to act very smart, very brilliantly. So this is your precious five minutes of your life. So of my life? Explain. Yes, because this is a matter of a life right now, ma'am. You need to understand and you need to be serious regarding this. They will ask you for which reason you are withdrawing the cash. What would be your reply to the teller? Um, I was talking to Microsoft and they were giving me a refund. And then they gave me $120,000. And they told me to come to the bank to get 5000 out. And if you are going to tell them, they will tell you that that is a scam. And they will put a simply hold on to your account. And you would be given a new account with a zero balance. So Wait, it's a you scam? Would be falling in trouble? No, I am telling you, your bank will perceive you. Your bank will tell you that this is a scam. That Do you think that my husband could be up to this? Do you think? No, nobody. Because I think he's trying to no. finish me off. Listen to me, nothing will happen. So listen to me very calm, what you need to tell at your bank. If they ask you for which reason you are withdrawing the cash, but simply yes. tell them it's my money. It is my it's money. I, it's my you money and I know. want it now. From the service, I have manipulated the account. I have manipulated your bank account in yes. such a manner yes. that it would be reflecting on your bank to your banker that you have moved your money from one of your account to your different accounts. Your banker does not know that you have received an unauthorized transaction in your rent because I have manipulated your bank account for you. So be pressive, be competitive in your word. Walk inside your bank, tell them you want $5,000 cash. If your bankers tell you, uh, why are you withdrawing? Just tell them this is my money. It's my money and I need it now! Well, I've got, so there's a banker, her name is Edna. Edna Mode. And I work with her all the time. So if I go in there and I don't talk to Edna... Uh, I understand, but you know the situation right now. So you could, do not need to talk to Elma. <laughs> if Edna asks you, is there a problem? Just simply tell her no, everything is correct. You do not need to worry about anything. Please, you could tell him any lie. Be smart, but I, be I can't lie not... to them. I feel just no, terrible. I, I understand. You do not, you do not, you are Oh my not gosh, I'm the, I'm the next in the line. I'm very nervous. See, you are not lying. You are not lying. You are processing me. I'm You're the next one in line. My oh my gosh. I can't no, even. That is not a lie, hun. See, I can't even look at that. You saving some... See, I, if you are saving someone's life by a lie, that is not a lie in front of Jesus. So, because you know Well, Jesus isn't going to be happy Jesus. with me after today, I don't think. I think that Jesus would be the most happiest person because you are the honest person in Jesus the world. Jesus is happy 24-7. Because you are such an honest lady. Because I don't think in a world, uh, if somebody receives one like $20,000, he will think of returning that money. He, will, he could live a, like a luxury life with that amount of money. So I'm telling them that you're my husband who works at Microsoft. No, you cannot tell them anything about Microsoft. Do not need okay, to... Okay, hold on one second. Right. Hold on, I'll put you on hold. Hello. I would please like to get out 5,000. There's no reason why I just really need to get out $5,000, please. No, it's very personal. It has to do with my computer, but it's personal. But I just need 5000 out, please. It's my money, and I want it now. Listen, do I need to go over to Edna? Just give me my money. I've had a very bad day today. Thank you. I do it. I do it. I did it. I'm getting in the car now. <laughs> I got my money out. Okay, I'm in the car. Where are you? I'm in the car right now. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, you got the cash? Yes, I got five thousand. I I told them it was 
a computer related thing, but I wouldn't tell them all the details. And I just got them. I said, I did exactly what you said. I said, it's my money and I want it now. Sweetheart, I don't have much longer to do this. I've got things I have to do. I understand. But first we need to take care of 5,000 today and the rest of the money we will take. So I do believe you're sitting right in your car, Edma. I am not Edna. My friend is Edna. My name is Vivian. Why are you texting me? You can't click a picture of the money which you have in your hand, cash in your hand? Well, I'm driving right now, honey. Where are you heading towards? Where am I heading? Yes. I'm going to the mall with my money. What will you do in the mall with your money? I don't know. I'm just going to go buy something for my husband, for my grandson. This is my money which you have taken out, so you need to send it to me, right? Oh, this is my money. I just took it out of my account, honey. But you have received the one lakh twenty thousand dollars in your checking account, so that is the reason you have withdrawn five thousand right now, correct? No. What? No. Are you kidding to me? No. I'm... Like, are you trying to make a fool of me? Tell me one thing. Are you trying to make a fool with me? Why would I try to make a fool with you? I don't know. You have me driving around the city. So what? You got the money in your account. You have one lakh twenty thousand dollars. Yes or no? Yeah, I've got a lot more than 120000 That's my point, is I'm going to go take this extra money that you gave me, and I appreciate it. I'm going to go buy my grandson something. You can buy that later on, but you need to return the money right now, the 5000 cash which you have in your hand. I need to be answerable to my bosses. What happened to $1,20,000? Well, you might you lose your job, honey, because trouble. I don't know if... I appreciate... I called you guys to get my money back. You gave me my money back, and here we are. You know? You, you, we call you to give you two ninety nine. We never call you to give one lakh twenty thousand dollars. Well, I already had. I, you didn't give me one hundred twenty thousand. So how much you received? You, I had forty seven thousand in my bank account. You just told me one hundred and twenty dollars you have in your checking account. Oh yeah, I've got a lot more than one hundred and twenty. <laughs> You you checked into your ADM that you have one like twenty thousand dollars in your checking account right now. Yeah. Right or correct? Right. Correct. Correct. So you need to return five thousand right now. So you need to head towards the FedEx office. Do you know any FedEx? No, I'm I'm over here at CVS right now though. Okay, you're heading towards the CVS. Yes. Uh, honey, do you know this place? One nine o one S Tamiami Trial A. Sarasota, Florida. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Sar Sarasota. Sarasota. Yeah, Sarasota. Florida. Yeah, I'm in three, Sarasota, four, Florida. Two, three, four, two, three, nine. Honey, I'm at the there mall right now. You are outside or inside? No, I'm inside at the mall. I'm, I'm going to go over to Best Buy and get some gift cards uh, for my grandson. Doing? Which gift card you are going to purchase? I'm getting Best Buy gift cards for my grandson. How much cost? Hundred dollar or? $50? Um, I'm getting him five thousand dollars worth because he wants a new computer. Excuse me, sweetheart. And Where's what the about Best Buy? Oh, okay. Thank you. What was that, James? What about my five thousand then? Sweetheart, we've been through this. I'm gonna go buy something for my grandson. Are you kidding with me, honey? Yup. See, in that case, you need to tell the U.S. government people at your place. You could be confiscated, your bank, your house could be confiscated, you could be behind the bars at this age, your husband could be behind the bars, your granddaughters could be behind the bars How as did you well. know I had granddaughters? I know each and everything regarding you. Because what? we have all the information right in front of my desktop. In the front of your desktop? Which you born, the, about you, about your son, about your daughter, about your father, about your mother, each and every one. My mother's one. dead. I know that as well. My mother would be 138 years old. I know, I know that. So do not try to act smart with me. Do not try to make my mind fool. Wait, Don't why you are you getting the aggressive office. with me now? See, basically you are trying to purchase 5000 uh, like giving it to your grandson, and that is not a joke to me. I need to be answerable to the government. What about that money? So you need to understand that. I just think this is all really funny to me. <laughs> And I think this all things needs funny to me as well. I I think it's extremely funny. Because you are trying to be funny. You are trying to be smart with me. No, I'm not trying to be smart at all. I'm just going to take my money and run. 
I only have a, a little while to live, so I might as well just go live it up. Okay, right now, go inside the... Where, you are in your mall? In the mall? Yes, I'm at the mall right now. Okay, go I'm checking go out. The... I just grabbed um, 10 Best Buy gift cards, and I'm going to put $500 on each one and give it to my grandson. Give me the gift card number. Of the well, one. I'm not going to give it. I'm giving them to my grandson. You need to give it to me, one gift card. No, I'm not giving you any of them. I'm giving all 10 to my grandson. No, you need to give it one of them Best... to me as well. No. Kyle, I'm sorry. It's just going to be, unfortunately, if this is really what happened, this is your mistake. You're going to have to own up to it. I'm really sorry that sometimes there's tough life lessons you have to live, so you might have to go behind bars on this one. But if I go down, then you're going with me. See, I know that as well. See, I love talking to you. You sound to be too pretty. I just tell you in the starting of the conversation that things. So do not spoil your blood by your own hands, which you have done right now, all my good by talking to me. What is that noise? Because that, that is my voice. I just raised my voice because you are not trying to understand the situation. I'm just sitting in a chair. The AC is in 16 degree, but still the sweats are coming on my body. You could understand the situation that how much shivering I have gotten from inside of my heart. Shivering inside of your heart? Exactly, because you know that is a matter of one life twenty thousand dollars. I just don't know how your heart can shiver. Because the AC is in sixteen degree, and I am still sweating. So you could understand the situation of my right now where I am sitting. Why are you yelling at me? Right on the temperature is sixteen degrees. Well, you should move away sweating. from the AC if it's making you cold. It is not making me cold. It is not allowing me to completely slow down my swearing. That how much I am concerned. So you need to understand. So you are trying to fool around with me. I know that. I don't understand. Where are you right now? I'm at the mall right now. Go purchase one gift card of Best Buy. I'm not, I've already purchased 10 for my grandson. I'm about to get in the car and go home. One car ride later. So your computer is locked then. Tell me what you want to do. My computer is locked. No, it's not. Yes. It's locked. No, it's not. It's locked. My computer is not locked. It's locked. You could put the password and check. Are you sure? Yes, I am 100% sure. Now put your password. Can you put open my password? your computer? It says incorrect. Yes. Hmm, your password is changed. What? <laughs> what did you, you do? You were trying to make a fool of me. What did you do? I changed the password. What? Now tell me, what will you do? What? Now give me one best... Now give me a gift card number of the best buy. How about you go on your computer? How about you go on your computer and see that I deleted all the files on your computer? You cannot do that. You do not have access to my computer. But you go and look at your C drive and see there's no files there anymore. Are you kidding me? No. Who are you? Who are you to be trying to scam me out of a bunch of money? Who are you? I'm a grandmother. So what you were trying to do with me? Why did you just try to get me to give you $5,000 and lock me out of my computer when you don't have any files on your computer anymore? How does that feel to have zero files on your C drive? You really need to get a different job, son. Fuck you. Fuck you. You need to get a better job, I'm just telling you, because what you're doing is very criminal, okay? You guys never did a good thing. Your ancestors never did good things. Listen so to that, me, son. You. you don't have any files on your, on your computer anymore. And you need to get a better job than trying to steal money from old people like me, okay? Have a great day. I really hope... Have a great day. I hope that you... You wasted my one hour. You uh, wasted my one hour. Yep. I think that you need to wash your mouth out with a bar of soap. Do you have anything to say about... Oh my gosh, what an amazing reveal at the end and the reaction from the scammer was just epic. Had such a fun time doing this video. Um, if you want to continue watching the scam baiting, go check out this one right here, this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate all the support from everybody watching these videos. Have a good day.